Uh, thank you very much, Jim, uh, for the very kind introduction. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Maganda nga po po sa ating lahat. Kapit nun. 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 Well, anyway, I did not uh, hesitate at all to be here this afternoon for this uh, very important topic, which is the assessment, independent assessment of the international arrangement of forests. And this is the way forward to SFM. So I've been uh, working this project along with uh, five other uh, uh, senior forces from the five continents of the UN. As it's a UN, the Malangang continent is a temporary, but not as a UN. You know? So I was uh, selected for Asia Pacific because I'm a Filipino, and I was uh, commended by the Department of Foreign Affairs of the Philippines. I said, it was uh, under the Polish agreement, there are 197 members of the country, including the Philippines. Almost kasi dami ng number of countries in the General Assembly. Kaya mayroon kumuha ng consensus dyan. And it's very important because this elevates forest at the uh, and forestry at the international level. There's a dummy and countries involved, plus a lot of agencies involved in forestry. Makakala natin, even lang, sa forest sa dami nila, they're having NMP, having a United Voice, mostly the Russians are fragmented. Kasi nga, sa dami. Yung collaborative partnership po po rin sa kaming apat na yun. You know, so many people, you have C4, you have UPRO, you have MPO, you have IPTO, and you have World Bank, and other institutions who are all working for forestry together. So it just has been uh, very effective and efficient uh, lately. That's why we were hired to be uh, independent as a sort. But wait, kasi kung sila mag-assess by themselves, siyempre, <laughs> for themselves yun, uh, so for their, their own uh, gain. Pag independent, they cannot dictate from us. Whatever is our finding, they need to admit it. We are independent, we are not under the, uh, any of the agencies. Now, we are directly hired by the general assembly. So you have to background on and the second thing, uh, this relates very well to the development series here. Kasi for a long time I know this, walang topic uh, discussed directly on policy relating to sustainable forest management. And the way forward now is really for policy and the forest to get out of the box. If you are there, you'll be confined to your own country. Ang approach here, that's escape and uh, this is what uh, uh, Sir Kai is also espousing. Get out of the box of your own country, mingle with other land uses. They have their own act of policy to ensure that policy is not only for the forest. It should be also to address food security, to, to address environmental services, and uh, uh, mostly to address the general issue on uh, poverty and most importantly sustainable development, okay, inclusive growth. Yeah. Well, uh, I guess you're in my picture here, so you won't, remember, you won't forget me. Well, anyway, this is the most opportune time to have a new international arrangement forest. First of all, uh, you know, all the arrangement, I'm going to be 15 million. There's no formal agreement there. It was declared by the UN General Assembly. So everybody followed. It was likely that's also the way it will be to be extended to another 20 years. Kasi kung hindi, wala na yan. Okay, isa isa na naman lahat ng forest institution and all countries na framework. Nobody understands. 
whether they are going forward, backward, whatever. Like so this is very opportune because all other agreements are both staying concluded or already operating, like by climate change. We have biodiversity, we have desertification, we have scientists. So Kailangan, within this framework, might be made to policy. No? With all of this. And then now, the Millennium Development Goal of the UN, the UN has been transformed into a sustainable development goal. So, Akabana Nyan, of course, every quarter, the UN needs to finalize the sustainable development goal, which include a goal in policy and also for other exigent in the policy. So, tama tama yan, kasi you have to work within the framework. Kasi kung hindi, kanya kanya. And uh, of course, there are a lot of major groups and UN documents that are already available. By the way, all of uh, what I'm saying, and the summary, except my own interpretation, are all in the website of all uh, UN organizations. So you open your mind if you want to find out about the uh, specific paper of this. And to say that, I will explain this because this is back from, back from there on what we did. The important thing is that uh, we already understand each other. Tomorrow, even uh, the definition of SFM, but in a way, 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 a Short of uh, sustainable management. No. All we want to do is simply interact, a continuous goods and services. In services, we have a little bubble. Okay. But in our services, but in climate, it's a lot. And when you include in the picture and things like a red program, the reduction of uh, emission from uh, the forestation degradation. Medyo nag-iiba yung iskop nito kasi iba na ngayon ang uh, included sa red plus. And one of them is SFM. And after the red plus, medyo iba ang pagkakaintindi nila. Well, uh, I'll explain a little bit later about that. But uh, as the uh, old UN team uh, presented here, SFM can be evaluated and measured. Uh, when SFM uh, came about uh, uh, a few decades ago, it is a target. It was called uh, Target 2000, meaning that uh, by the year 2000, all of our products, services, etc., coming from the forest are sustainable because forests are it did not happen uh, 20, 15, 20, 2000. Eh? So what they did, hindi dapat na target ito, dapat flexible. So it became an objective. So what objective, how do you measure the progress? So progress na ngayon, kasi hindi na target, wala na uh, by that year, wala na magbumog na. It's impossible. So they developed uh, this uh, seven criteria with appropriate set of indicators. So now, yon, ito hindi may sure by everybody, the board reports, including all the country, including the Philippines. So you have criteria one up to seven. It started with six, but now they have uh, Added this one, which is uh, normally associated uh, with uh, forest production. So, then we need an extent of forest resources and whether uh, the conditions merits. Uh, this is uh, before works with this forest with their productivity function. So, last and animate Manualize again all over the UN uh, and the countries. But you have to appropriately 
measure by your own indicator. Uh, no, but simula ito, there was the safety indicator that they need and we need to simplify. A lot of people are having a hard time trying to measure all of this. So the latest one was 62. Now the Philippines, uh, you have to transfer it to your own country. Because it's important here, okay, you have all of this. 62 indicator, let's say, for the Philippines, and you measure it. What is the standard? What, is, uh, what are you measuring? And how can it be done appropriately? Because you know, it's not appropriate. But it's not possible to measure in Philippine context. So, it's not possible to do that. It's not possible to do that. You have to break your head. So, it's not possible to And then, by manual, it's not possible to do that. Who will do what and the uh, auditors. Forest auditing and you will audit the forest whether it is progressing or not. Now, the only thing I want to bother you is uh, I just said that uh, uh, this has been uh, done uh, for uh, uh, almost uh, our contact one year. So we have, we have Completed our job. We have worked in all the U.S. agencies from Vienna to Kenya to New York. The latest one was in January. Then our work was already done, but we presented it to the U.N. expert for them to understand what they're going into into the next uh, generation of international arrangement of forests. So all the lessons learned uh, have been incorporated in this. The five experts, as I've said, uh, has been done. We interviewed uh, all the stakeholders, the documents and processes, and uh, we had our meeting in all the UN agencies that uh, I have enumerated. Uh, so these are the expert uh, inputs, and uh, we believe that uh, all the recommendations that uh, I will be presenting here, have been evaluated by specific UN uh, agencies. And uh, we, we have analyzed the relevance of uh, what they're doing as their mandate, their uh, accomplishments uh, and achievements of any. And the most important part was whether each and an effective in its mandate. And what are the impacts? Because a lot of people would not admit the mistakes. They would not admit that they so black, they so black, they so What are you talking about? You talk of Korean borders, you go to Europe, everything is such a pen. I mean, from there, but I want to be done. Can you go to Korea? You allow me to go to Korea, etc., etc. I mean, debatable, yeah, but I think it's uh, international. So you must know how to temper your recommendation. But anyway, the uh, recommendation is there. As I said, all of these boils to the position that please uh, relate to what's going on globally. Uh, so we, we have to also to look at uh, International assessment within the scope, but this has been broken with the new one, which has gone deeper. And the purpose of the old arrangement, so you, uh, the old arrangement, the main problem there is that it is limited to policy oriented things. So, not yet, okay, participatory framework, policy presentation, and facilitate. Uh, you work to facilitate. So you, you don't facilitate anything, you will make things easy. So it is a bit to implement. That's what it is. So with that, uh, you cannot go too much. No, with uh, I'll say well implementation yang I can feel yang if you don't that. It's not with me. If they always said, oh I only found uh more response. You end up with the secretariat. Uh, we only need to discuss policy issues. 
after that we go into the country. Allah, Allah, you know, what to do with that? So, into your current uh, institutional arrangement, which uh, we have tried to improve. As you can see, it has been uh, working under the economic and social council of the UN, but directly under the UN General Assembly. Why? Because it was the UN General Assembly that approved and mandated the implementation. Because I don't deny negotiation. And negotiation, I put them together, or I'm going to go back to climate change, or that's a Paris, but before Paris, the Kadayat. And no agreement, I don't think they will have any agreement in the Paris. If you have a protocol, just stand by itself. So, wala wala tayo inasa ang siya rin dyan. So, they don't want to go that way. They want to go this way. With all the uh, uh, things that are going with the function, but what is important, meron ang implementation function ngayon at meron uh, financing for implementation. How they will do that? Specifically, of course, uh, have to be done once uh, all of this has been uh, approved formally. Because the NLP, that legally binding instrument, that legally binding, because wala no one to negotiate that, wala no one to agree. They just had the voting, so it was voted by consensus to prevent it to be deal. In fact, the Philippines is one of six countries that is a pilot country for the NLBI. The Dr. Mendoza, chairman, so that was before that it was the Polonica, and no time to complete it in Asas. Well, anyway, they did their job. Kasamayan. So what are the major achievements? Briefly, new universal approach for all type of forests. So, the universal approach one is the criteria indicator. You have a certification system, you have natural. So, all of these procedures are available. Uh, the Kerun and uh, Maswataas, the uh, Pakingis uh, forest in terms of the development of the Enda, starting from the uh, Rio Convention up to the last. Consensus building, a lot of CLI and CLI is a big country led initiative. Because a lot of these things are being done by countries just using framework. So, country led, yeah. Like Philippines, ASEAN, Maran, opportunity, yeah. Because we integrate that economically and in policy, and how we integrate. So my policy platform, as you see, which uh, we are, have strengthened, your reporting requirement, have been received like, a pain of some writing agency. They require for countries so many report the uh, conclusion are different. I think okay, if I reporting for that. So if I am UNFF every two years, we have the AO, we have the draft, policy social assessment, they accumulate a lot of things that you will do, remote sensing, analysis, etc. Uh, which uh, the government follows in Philippines is one of the best in following all of this reporting. And then there's a reporting sa IDT also ngayon. And after the new arrangement, it's an alarm report. Parang mga kakipig naman tayo na The output will be universal. May iba pili mo now, you know, it's all analytical work and uh, output somehow, some of this have been uh, addressed, but uh, not a fragmented uh, process. It's all about the facilitated process for financing. Because you know, financing in the issue, they hold the time. Even the collaborative partnership of forest and the new world bank, they don't. Uh, Give money, voluntary money. They want, they want. They don't want, uh, they cannot force them. Uh, 
le norme sono sempre una medina volontaria che tu vieni in una borda esperta quindi ti spieghi che il problema non è la project non mi supporto perché per l'implementazione del project non è di policy quindi ci sono dei criteri che tu vieni in una borda esperta expert panel for evaluation of project. And do all, I used to be chairman for three years, evaluating all of these projects. Uh, you can go in all direction, I think uh, I'm done with interpretation of the SFA. And a lot of countries are uh, really lucky uh, trying to outgun each other in getting funds. I've been a bit of lucky to go back. Not because I'm the chairman, but because I'm the one who's been trying to support the English. I'm the one who's been trying to expect the money to be in Calway. I'm the one who's been trying to get the money to be in Calway. Now, again, the interaction with the digital level, what I'm saying, again, Asia Pacific has a very big deficit here. Ikaw sa pasayan. Ala ang pasayan kung tayo na they have a tips association of senior members and minister. Tayo yung magkuhon sa tingin ng human security yung tingin ng minister. Again, kung sa pagdating ko, yung discussing, I provided them with what we have. and the uh, engagement of the new groups. Now, if we talk about milestone, again, it is uh, the old category binding with four objectives for forest. They implemented the work program, but uh, it's only up to 2015, but uh, it prevents, so extend that up to 2015. It's already integrated in the EFF, in the equity. The future that we want, if I want to show you what future. Do we want based on all the big cells of forest uh, in the world? Uh, and the SDG process. Never make them output there and the power forward the output. Get a lot of energy. It's more important that they will have more finance. They have a provision for uh, GMC, Global Forest Finance, and uh, how it will help in uh, implementation, aside from uh, the financing that's available and biggest name in the uh, Global Environmental Facility, and the next one is the World Bank Supported uh, Red Plus. So, Latin uh, they want to have a uh, global integration para patalim mag-access. They put up a website called the Forestry Facilitation Process. May website na ito, buksan nyo. Makikita nyo, hindi siya may labor, kung ano pwede i-submit, kung kaya i-submit, kasi pwede NGO, hindi lang government. Pwede ng NGO, pwede ng private sector. And sa communication, yan magaling ang aking forest team. Pero international year of forest. When you last have communication, I just say that arriving for security, you know, International Year of Forest, International Day of Forest, where they will have to make it, and International Decade of Forest. So, that's all. They don't know what I'm wrong. They don't know. Selection for Forest Heroes, for video, for pictures. So, we're running media, events, we're running photo ops. All of them, if you look at the website, Lahat ng mga success stories na sa PNB mga picture in different countries. 
So they want to achieve them why they achieve because they have a big membership, universal, we have engagement, uh, we have a national police program supported by FAO and uh, within uh, the UN itself. However, uh, they have uh, some limitations as far as uh, really integrating, uh, integrating it into existing agreement and uh, of course the fragmented action result to uh, uh, a very good utility of the forum session, we say every two years one. And the uh, implementation itself of the forest instrument and the government implementing it. And means of implementation, FAO financing, resources, etc. It's very weak because they have good support from the right. They have only about three technical personnel, not a doing all of this uh, work to support. Because you have a couple of other agencies, and some of you support them, but they have a different object too. So it's what we are talking about. It's a higher, top of the They have a director, they have uh, two technical, and uh, a lot of uh, people who are facilitating. So areas for improvement, uh, I won't uh, bother you too much for this. So we have to promote and uh, have the universal understanding, guideline at each level, uh, a comprehensive SFS support for all groups, countries, reporting of progress, uh, that I've said, implementation of agreed uh, action. Ito medyo mahirap gawin, Inaanulan na nga. Iba kasi ang budgeting scheme ng government uh, with those of the IAP, like uh, what do you situate uh, something like uh, ADP, the government, 700 million uh, dollars siya in five years. So, sabi ng Pilipin, hindi namin kailangan support. Internationally, our own budget, dami namin pick-up, dap, kung araw-araw. So we have to implement the forest policy agenda in support of broader uh, development processes. This is uh, what is uh, being done, especially by, by the research agencies involved in the IUPO, C4, and the AO. I don't know if it's clear agenda. So it's all the appearing policy instrument and uh, extending it. It's already appeared. We have to have uh, strategic planning based on uh, all of this. They have been to meet again regularly after uh, this session which ended uh, May 15. So they will tackle all of this. And a new thing here is the center. Science policy implementation interface. Because pagka policy ano ka, a lot of things being discussed. So, uh, I've been attending all of them since so, on. Walang scientific background. In Pennsylvania, you can say it as ambassador, but that's it. They said, if you expect that the forest will be able to pay that way. Uh, Selective logging, the good or bad, a lot of people are against it. The uh, law are poor. They have been uh, blaming the Philippines for shifting. We are the only countries that lack in the secondary forest, not in the, in the forest, because this is forest is protected areas. But why? Most of our forests are secondary, they are natural. And uh, their basal uh, area harvestable is like the old forest. Meaning, the scientific basis is very clear. Huh? So, things like that, uh, we could argue. Uh, oh, I'm confused when you talk about Boreal Forest in California. It's not very clear. Even you count the names, 
of the day. You don't know how old that thing is. A lot of trees are centuries old uh, abroad and they just die of old age. Kasi nga, hindi naman na masenteng kung ano ang harvestable level ito mo nito. But they cannot count it. And scientific interface, monitoring, assessment, and reporting for a common that will resolve the efficiency and the financial resources. So this will be defined, the setting, the POR, and means of implementation. Now, institutionally, okay. So I'll be quick on this. Uh, I just want to show you uh, what's going on. You have an option whether to do it again as it is now and just straighten it, or put it under a new UN system where you are in uh, equal footing with all other convention. Ito yung hindi. Ito hindi. Hindi straighten lang. So there's a between the UN economic and social uh, action, the department that uh, is in charge of all of you. So we have uh, to rethink our future. We have to be uh, more affirmative, positive, and uh, committed. And uh, as I said, the forest and the wider landscape, we have to do it and uh, shift emphasis from too much talking to action. Uh, Chairman Maragina report, etc. I cannot evaluate the two many groups are following at the same time. Assume ultimate uh, stewardship in a global landscape. Stewardship is all the important thing. important the forest has to be managed in what way sustainable as a man. Who are the money here? ang gusto natin lahat ng alibir community kasi mas strong si GML so a lot of experts say let's give it to the community with the help of the NGO that's what we've been done with the NGO kayo na magtanin may tenure naman kayo that's your future you are the steward of the earth of the forest or you better do something about it. Science policy has to be increased. I explained that. Opportunities for a uh, balanced group to come in. And I just uh, presented this in a tabular form at uh, the descriptor for the new arrangement. If you want, with an assembly, with a science support, and uh, financing support, and uh, ito, very important, uh, ito na lang ang gamit. Special and boy of forest. Kasi after this, uh, you have to popularize. Ay eh, mahirap pag gagawin mo mga popularize doon, mga scientists or ano eh. Ang kikukuha nila eh, mga sila Leonardo DiCaprio, yung mga, yung mga actress na magagaling. You know, na may pera. So instead of being paid, sila na and boy, sila ba yung magbibigay ng pera? For us to invest, the country of the committed a lot for the UN declaration of forests. They are most likely to be one of the uh, employees. So, my own, there are no institutional and financial foundation in the uh, building blocks. Because you always uh, build a bond with building blocks, based on less of the so, ito yung option na present namin sa kanila. There are five, but option one, continuing with the present, will bring you somewhere down the road. So, how they are. So, atak nila ang option na ano yan. You increase it with what I've said. Strengthen the uh, organizational approach. Third, a uh, clear pathways towards uh, SFM. In parallel, 
then we need to talk about that. This is not uh, inclusive by itself. Pag sinabi namin sa kanila, ito, kapal ng report ito, raise of the option, or the advantage, etc. Then, you can select what is good here, good here, and for it out. You don't know what it is. Something you see that they try to do. So, I don't have to say much, everyone is on explanation of what we see at them or uh, the first option uh, available is enhancing. The second is strengthening what you have, uh, including uh, a regular budget. Uh, well, a regular budget to prepare it. Yeah, but you have to see what operate in town with a limit. You have to buy it in town with a limit. The third is the political pathway with uh, a lot of these uh, new actors coming in. And this is uh, good, they don't have to be supported, but uh, all of those countries, especially those who believe in the plus, the black day, or the, uh, the forest protection, for slow enforcement, governance in trade, and uh, all others, uh, international data we should have. And it all in regional we should to tie up with the global and the country that uh, so you poor uh Pinopinian I say by Iraq now we recommend that you can assess or not each other around so you must have option. So what do you do with the option? Uh, all of this global objective, uh, therefore, right now must be related to the sustainable development goal. We have specifically target 15.2. Either by 2020, what do we expect? what we have in the short, for protection, etc. And then tie it up with present result in the New York Declaration on Forestry for Team. Last year, yeah, and I don't know how I witnessed it, including the uh, uh, launching the forest facilitation. So if you want to know what they expect. So if you talk to that, or if you will see, that's the new arrangement in terms of uh, the forest that you want in the future. So, in New York, that's the exact wording for both the team and a lot of sub-indicators under sustainable development goal. So, aligning the SDG and uh, all other related uh, biodiversity targets to this particular. In summary, the development of the Nilani Mulan, the Chris Stewardship, and the Latin Fragmented Forest Policy, more commitment, coherent, and positive, and a clear voice of the forest, the reason a lot. And policy support for implementation, there are no implementation in the policy. So again, the scope and definition still have to be well done and defined, and understanding of all the financial mechanism, including any uh, monitoring compliance, where we can monitoring and evaluation report. Sakit pa sa I don't expect it to be the way I will uh, uh, annex this to the paper. That, uh, I have a paper which uh, I said I will update when the result of the uh, ministerial declaration and in New York, for the 14th, I have a few days ago, came out and summary, this is the declaration. All the ministers, so we, this is the voice that we want. And uh, as you can see, I don't have to go line by line here, all of the recommendations that we have forwarded to them, have been considered. 
So at least our work uh, is done. I hope this will be on our land and uh, uh, be able to promote. At some point, they agree that they are on the land. They don't want to work. They uh, don't care about the work station, the implementation. They don't want to improve this. Uh, they want to well said that there's no problem like that. Uh, even if uh, all the monitoring was the same for I only lie, I a problem. You can hide it under the line. So for the first time they did, so it's not very, very bad. Putting in all the groups. Dito, ang pinaka big dito, ang na-neglect nila, lot of groups and all, including women, But they did not include the private sector, I don't know for what reason. They don't even attend UN session on, uh, no, on uh, forest. Whereas they have the ones implementing on the field. They are putting in investment, etc. You community and don't. But community, the government pays them. The private, they pay for themselves. We did their financing. So I am there. All this private sector interpreter, sino ba mga involved processor sa Pilipinas? Kaya lang ngayon, hindi ito affected ng iba ilang pan. So, hindi yun sila mga nopinyon. So, lahat ito have been appeared, committed, and uh, up to 14 and then uh, 15. This is now the uh, operating section and this is now it's, uh, in terms of resolution needing to approve all that the minister said which came from uh, independent uh, assessment and other government. So again, we will be meeting to make sure that uh, all of this will be put in detail for it. Kasi itong mga ganito declaration and uh, uh, resolution, affirmation, uh, cannot be presented in so much detail. So that resolution uh, provides whatever uh, recommendation is there for the IAP, the IAP team, for the Secretariat, the IAP team, The forest instrument, the unbreaking team. So, lahat ito together have the uh, financing, the uh, provision of that for implementation, the agenda, and the uh, review, follow up, in the details of the implementation. And uh, important, final approval of all of these by UN General Assembly by September 2015, so a few months, four months after that. So I thought this uh, must be my uh, analysis of SFM in the Philippines. What uh, will be done is already a framework I meant, okay, uh, reporting, monitoring uh, evaluation, and land use, and credit uh, pooling, etc. favorable. Pilgrim CNI and Forest Committee, manual guidelines we have already. In fact, uh, I was the lead international consultant for pooling in for Pilgrim. Philippines is the only one with the uh, manual with this, with a baseline. Measurement for progress, regular basis, we have done. There's a policy code and a lot of uh, existing laws and regulations on this. To my mind, it's already adequate, while uh, there's uh, the uh, uh, legislation 
for uh, a group for the uh, SFF spending in Congress at Tagadar 14 years. 14 Congresses na yun na nandun. Almost every year it's uh, for approval that something happens. Well, anyway, it keeps on being updated. For the meantime, what we're saying, we have adequate existing one egg, we we take, 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 we ego, we take, 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 we Talking about the post COVID activity. And if you look at the baseline from 2003, when it was first declared the 5.4 million in and outside when it became 10.4, so it's a lot of difference. It's officially published on the website using statistics, but being contested by a legislator, and he was saying that uh, something is wrong. Well, I can attest that it's not wrong. It is there because uh, a lot of these are wrong. Police law enforcement, uh, okay, but the only thing, a lot of these I'm saying are not perfect. They are to say that some problems here, but by and large, it's positive. Uh, so, my optimism is not giving. Yeah, and so all of these are existing. In fact, we are conducting training already on this in the past, and uh, this year we already posted a call for those who would uh, be interested in being trained as far as what we can. Model SFF, uh, we have in Senegal, it has been published everywhere, it has been given the population. All uh, presented in uh, uh, different conventions internationally. So we have uh, more than one. The preparatory activities for red piloting is still uh, at this stage. We have time to go again as we are not prepared. So preparatory is again for training. Regional, uh, we are very strong, as we have said. Integrity, for instance, CNI, uh, plus the Asian Center on Biodiversity. And we do it as a task that is our strength, plus the economic integration of the two, strengthen all of this that uh, are already available. And then the collaboration with private academy and people and all others, and the integrated landscape. Management to relate to uh, global issues. Well, uh, I just want to point out the uh, three-year program now to rehabilitate 1.5 million hectares. As I said, uh, we have a fourth year and accomplished already about a million uh, hectares. Uh, it's not only about planting trees, and we have some socio-economic indicators now. Related to inclusive growth, uh, at least a uh, million jobs have been uh, generated nationwide. Hindi lang ito yung mga personal na nag-aayon, for example, is the community. Binigyan ng mga kontrata, positive production, different cases. But the thing that uh, we need to look out is that uh, after 2016, Kasi ito programa na ito, 2016 na, I don't know what to do after this. Iiwanan na naman yung programa na. So, yung mga community involved, hindi mas mahirap, nandun po, na. So, what we are saying, whoever, prepare na ayo, kasi huwag natin pag-dibat yan, sige ba magiging presidente, whoever sits there, it is, Continuity, I'm going to start in Pagka, I don't need to recycle, 
stop things, do it all over again. In a more destructive way, it's not only the mother man, but the mother man. So ito lang, just to summarize, this progress, makikita ko na yan, this of the issues to indicate ko. These are the things that uh, we are very strong right now. It's uh, moving towards uh, SMP. In a way, we need to have uh, other strategy. Uh, Of course, a lot of economic things, employment, have gone down by now because of EO 23, not 26, I think it's okay. In 23, wala, ano pa rin eh. If you calculate, napakarami yung inuhuling na illegal doubts, of course, but ibig sabihin, ang dami din yung destroy, bakit nauhuling? checkpoint. Uh, so many villages. If you, if you translate it in terms of standing trees, I'm talking about the CDC running out every year. I'm talking about the government doing or what that is. We don't have that. 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 We don't Pinto Paraga last year, we have a project that we need to be known as well. We have a project, pero this case, not of this case. So, sabi namin, ang batayan nyo yung nakatayo sa ita para hindi putuli. Hindi wag putul na huli. Wala tayo magagawa. After na yan. So, this my analysis of the specific things that Will be to benefit from which we have to strengthen. So thank you very much for your time. Thank you very much, Forester Mali, for that very valuable information on what the international arrangement of forests is all about, and as a forester. You certainly must have contributed a lot towards the achievement of the goals of IAM. So now let's move on. Uh, the floor is now open for your comments, insights, and uh, questions. Anybody? Sino una Yes, for Sir Mauricio. Oh. Thank you, Forester Kumani, uh, for your very interesting uh, scholarly presentation of uh, 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 your uh, subject, of your uh, subject analysis, uh, sustainable forest management. Uh, but uh, I, 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 I would like to make some suggestions not questions, but suggestions on forestry in the Philippines based on my experience as uh, a forester in the service and in the private uh, experience in the private industry. Uh, for example, uh, to, minim to minimize or prevent smuggling, because smuggling is very predominant in our forests, uh, I suggest that uh, bamboos should be planted in the lower slopes, not only to prevent smuggling, but also to minimize or prevent soil erosion from above. Because the forests in the uh, upper uh, area, the upper uh, area of the mountains, uh, could not completely prevent it so erosion based on our uh, uh, experience in selective logging in Mindanao. So my suggestion is we add the planting of bamboos in the lower areas because the bamboo 
the, uh, the trees, the roots, the roots of the trees go downwards, but the roots of the bamboos are very small and they uh, spread horizontally. But so they uh, serve as uh, uh, what the word is. Uh, they make the soil uh, uh, not easily uh, what is, uh, uh, swept by the rain, rain to the low to the lower areas, especially the rice fields in the rivers. Again, based on our experience then in Mindanao, if we plant uh, we plant uh, several species in the same area, but at different times, the income from the forest will be uh, more than if you plant only one species in the, in the area. Our system is of reforestation is planting only one species. This is monoculture. This is not very good. It, then it will take uh, if you plant forest uh, trees, it will take approximately not less than 30 years before they can be harvested. But if you plant uh, other trees, let's say Albicia palmataria, they can be harvested every four years. And they can be uh, artificial uh, agent in uh, what? Uh, Preventing branches, lower branches in the trees. Another, another, uh, uh, another reason why we should plant bamboos in the lower areas because they could be, they could serve as very effective wind breaks because of the strong winds and rains in the climate change now. Uh, we hope you now to protect the. the Forest, the natural forest, but the natural forest easily can be destroyed by uh, storms, strong, strong winds. So, what is now possible? What is now the, the practical way is now to uh, plant some windbreaks and bamboos, the bamboos, when the trees, when they are st st struck by strong winds. They fall down, or they 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 are uh, what is this? They, 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 they are uh, branches, leaves and branches are uh, removed, uh, dropped. But the bamboos will curve, and then after the storm or the strong winds, they will return to the erect areas. And very very few leaves uh, will be removed because. The leaves are very tiny. So, and then another uh, thing that we did in, in our areas there in Pacific Number Company in uh, Araga and Caraga is if we plant bananas and abaca between the trees, the bananas will serve as the irrigation. Uh, well, right, because of climate change now, we have what, long drought season and, uh, well, without uh, sufficient water, the trees will, will, will be stagnant and growing. So, with the bananas and abaca, uh, they will be the irrigation system and provide the water for the trees. And then, this will provide uh, income or uh, instead of the people smuggling the trees, uh, they can be involved in the planting and harvesting of bananas and avocado. And then another uh, uh, thing is the creeks, not the, the, not the big rivers, but the creeks. So now at, at the banks of this creek should be planted these bamboos, and above this bamboos will be the bananas. So that you know, uh, the, 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 the creek will not become very
very wide and very deep because the bamboos will prevent uh, soil erosion. And then uh, the water uh, flowing down the lowlands will be uh, will not be polluted, but they will be very very uh, good water. And this would be applicable now in Los Banos, where in Mount Makiling is supplying to decrease the water okay. that pollute the Luna Bay. Thank you, um, Dr. Mauricio. So, well, uh, thank you for uh, the, the explanation, the, uh, the, what about the, the, uh, the, for your uh, dissertation, and uh, thank you very much. Thank you, Dr. Mauricio. Any other question? Yes, Dr. Merkel. Uh, Mr. Romani, I am not a forester, but I am an observer of environmental changes in the people. Uh, for me, it's true, you have plenty of, uh, uh, like, uh, you know, check, check highway, check. checkpoint, and uh, because I'm not a forester, then I am uh, on the thinking that uh, there are uh, legal uh, uh, timber cutter, okay? But uh, there seems to be some point that uh, some are not legal. That is why there are checkpoints. Another thing that uh, perhaps needs rehabilitation is the, 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 por the forest dwellers. Because the forest dwellers, maybe sometimes you use them for uh, planting uh, trees on a contract basis, but after a long time, uh, six years, that there is no more funding, then what will happen? They they will maybe cut the trees that they have planted because you have to rehabilitate them to get other kind of economic uh, uh, activity. Okay, so the logging and the are, are people who are degrading the forest, except, of course, there are natural calamities. Uh, uh, thank you. I think uh, the uh, comments are all uh, well uh, taken, especially in the context like uh, the, uh, the mobility of uh, especially for uh, But uh, for the bamboo and the uh, mon mon uh, again for uh, the it uses that uh, we have to have uh, have have we can do. And uh, the impact is screwing uh, at the uh, global level for impact. 